If you've ever had a pile of pancakes or a stack of waffles, you probably know what maple syrup is. It's that sweet, sticky substance that you soak your delicious breakfast in. Hi, my name is Haley, and I'm a teacher with The Cloud Project. In this video, we'll be learning about maple syrup. And now that I've made you hungry, I'd like to dive into just how much we love maple syrup and why it can actually be a problem for the planet. So maple syrup is actually found in a lot more than just pancakes and waffles. It's also very common in glazes, salad dressings, teas, coffees, and lots of other baked goods, including cookies. Maple syrup is exclusively produced in North America, which means you can't find it anywhere else. Our friends in Quebec, Canada, produce most of our maple syrup. But how do people get maple syrup? Well, they drill holes into maple trees to collect the sap that emerges. But don't worry, these holes in the trees heal. The sap that is collected is then turned into syrup, and we'll talk more about that later. Since so many people like syrup, farmers have to grow lots of trees, and the trees are super great for the environment since they breathe in carbon dioxide, a gas that traps heat in our atmosphere, and breathe out oxygen. These trees also give us shade and provide habitats for lots of little creatures. Can you spot five of the animals that call these trees their homes? Most syrup farmers follow lots of rules to ensure that their maple syrup is produced organically, which means without pesticides or fertilizers, and sustainably. Unfortunately, after the sap is collected, to turn it into maple syrup, workers have to burn oil or wood and release lots of carbon dioxide emissions. Remember how carbon dioxide traps heat in the atmosphere? Releasing a lot of it isn't good because it makes our planet too warm, and that causes global warming. Global warming leads to climate change, a change in our Earth's weather patterns. This change can actually make it harder for farmers to farm more maple syrup since changing the weather means changing the tree's growing seasons, and this makes it unpredictable. Luckily, new processes are being developed. What can you do in the meantime? Try to get organic maple syrup since it comes from farmers who are practicing more sustainable farming practices and those are better for our planet. Okay, now it's time for a quick quiz to show off everything you've just learned. The first question is, where does maple syrup come from? The answer is Quebec. Canada. Our next question is, what are three other uses for maple syrup other than pancakes and waffles? There are actually a lot of answers to this, but some of the things you may have mentioned are glazes, salad dressings, teas, coffees, and lots of other baked goods, including cookies. And now, our very last question is, what can you do to help out the planet when you want to eat maple syrup? If you said something like buying organic maple syrup, then you're correct. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking, subscribing, and watching other videos from The Cloud Project. I hope you have a great day.